Um, she really is. <laughs> guys, welcome back to Damage Report. Cronin and Bailey, um, click that like button down below. This is one from Starbucks, which Starbucks, I hate Starbucks uh, coffee and stuff, but oh, I love it. they're right near my work. And, um, you know, the, the people there are the nicest people. They're so douchey in there, but they're the nicest people. Like, the service is so good. I go to Dunkin' Donuts, and they're just like, what do you want? But but the don but Dunkin' Donuts tastes so good to me. I, I love it. Um, but Starbucks, to me, tastes like, tastes like I'm drinking money or something. I don't know what it is. You know what? Let me tell you something real, real quick before I forget it. Uh, let me tell you about Starbucks service. When you go there and you're like, yeah, I need to get a large uh, caramel macchiato. We don't sell larges, sir. Fuck you. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they're douchey. That's what I said. They're douchey. I have no idea. I still don't know. I know there's something called they call one a tall. Like that's the small one. Get the yeah. fuck out of here. Hey, the next time I'm having, next time I meet a girl and I'm gonna hook up with her, I'm gonna call my penis the jumbo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's not even gonna she happen. Says, I have. A... You know what I mean? You're like, shut up. <laughs> I have a wife. I'm not gonna do that. But um, yeah, I'll be like, oh, it's a, it's the jumbo. Well, there's the jumbo. There's the excellent, and then there's the super califragilistic expialidocious. That would be nine inches. Yeah. Oh, I have, I have the gigantic one. Yeah, okay. You sure you <laughs> yeah, do? You know what I mean. Yeah, let me get the tall. That means small. Get the fuck out of here. What does That's it even like that mean? That's faggot when I went to Steak and Shake, and I'm like, yeah, I need a hamburger with lettuce, tomato, pickle, and he just cuts me off and goes, sir, we don't sell hamburgers. We sell steak burgers. Yeah. <laughs> That's the moment when I drove the fuck off. Like, yeah, you just lost the stale, dickhead. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, this is what happened at Starbucks. Jackass does that. Man alleges ageism. Ageism after getting banned from Starbucks for asking a teen barista on a date. <laughs> this is weird. What? A 37-year-old. This is from, uh, what website is this? Actually, this is from CBS News, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> from out of Spokane, Washington. 37-year-old man says he was banned from Starbucks. Um, the man was not identified. Uh, oh, no, he was... <laughs> what? Uh, the man who oh wait a minute the man who was not identified by Krem since he has not been charged with a crime so they wouldn't identify him I guess I was I, the wording on that was weird I couldn't get it I was flirted with by a barista for some reason she thought I was funny said I was so funny so I gave her a note to see if she'd be interested in dinner the man wrote it in a Facebook post he said that he when he went back the next day, a police officer told him he was banned from Starbucks. <laughs> um, Spokane police said uh, businesses are allowed to refuse service to people as long as they see fit. But the man says he's facing discrimination due to his age. I know the female Starbucks barista was of legal age to date, the man said. I broke no laws. I merely took a chance with my heart. I'm tired of hearing the word creep as any black person or gay person is tired of hearing the, the certain words. I have a whole web page dedicated to age gap love. <laughs> Come here. What is going on? Is this a real article? <laughs> it's a real article. I'm not joking. I just spoke in Washington. Um, there's Hang on so a much here to talk about, I feel Can like. Can I review a couple of things real quick? <laughs> yes. Okay. So let me, first of all, this guy is trying to say, I'm getting sick and tired of being called a creep, and all of us other creeps are tired of being called creeps. He's comparing black people being offended by the word nigger as he's being offended by being called a creep. So, and also, let me make sure I got this correct. You said that the man was the boy. went to the drive through assumed that he was being, or he thought he was being flirted on by this barista, so he goes and looks her up on Facebook to send her a message. <laughs> yeah, you're not a creep at all, guy. And I he mean, said he knew she was of age. Huh. I wonder how he knew that. Yeah, I made sure she was of age. <laughs> I stole her I wallet. Sure. Yes. Yeah, I, I put say, a load I'm on her ID. I went to the bathroom. I took her wallet. Yeah, I took her ID and took a copy of it, and I've been putting loads in it for weeks. And he's probably been <laughs> yeah. he's probably been coming in there being weird already, right? And then she's yeah. like, and her way of like being trying to deal with his creepiness was probably her being like, "Oh, you're funny, like you're so funny, uh -huh. like oh, get away from me," um, you know. And then, and then he took it to the next level, and then the cops came. Now I get his argument a little bit, though. I will go to his side a little bit here. The, uh, there is a movement going on in this country that's going to start. Like it is every other country where it's like you you can't you're afraid to hit on women you're afraid to whistle at them you're afraid to send them a note because you could get you're in trouble 
It's happening other places where they, they want to take away the sexualization of males and stuff like that. They don't want you to be, they want you to be almost gay. It's weird. Um, in other countries, and it's starting to happen in this country too, um, where guys are afraid to like ask women to do things. It's uh, girls are reporting on it. Younger teenage girls and twenty year old girls, they're reporting on like like it's that it's hard to hook up with certain guys, or that things are different now, and and they, they if they're not on Tinder, they're not you know all these all these different things, and that's where, where things are going. So, but in this case, I don't think this is one of those. I think this guy was probably creepy. Did he deserve to be banned? I don't know. You know, but what was well, it? But she was uncomfortable enough. I mean, I don't know. You said, I mean, you said that the, at the end of the point where men are uh, afraid to ask women out. But the fact is, there's a difference between asking a woman out, very, like nicely, hey, uh, if you're not doing anything tonight, would you like to have dinner with me? There's a difference between that and, the, hey, you want to give me a hand job under the table right no, now? No, but he, that's front, what he essentially did. He sent her a note saying, basically, hey, want to maybe go out to eat or a dinner? That's what he did. And he's banned that now. Was, that was after he stole one of her wet wipes out of her purse and wiped it on his cock. Yeah, well, I mean, we, they didn't mention that in the story. Um, <laughs> I would imagine not. Someone wrote, I've never been so proud to be a Starbucks customer, one user wrote. As a teen, I had to deal with similar issues working in a restaurant as a hostess. It's an uncomfortable position no girl wants to be put in. Thank you so much for supporting your employees. Can you just say no? That's what I mean. Why can't, why, why can't, he, why can't she just say, no, I, I'm not interested, and then it's over? Why is there a cop waiting the next day? That's my, that's what I mean. Like this is what I'm saying. Everyone's a pussy in this country. Like I don't think. And the now guy this guy's not going to get any from Starbucks for life. He's banned for life from this Starbucks because he simply was like, "Hey, I think I like you. Do you like me?" And then the next thing you know, a cop is telling him he can't come in here. What is wrong with our country? See, that's what I'm saying. Like we we joked about stuff a minute ago, but you know, I come back to th this is this can't be right. How can this be right? You know what? You're right. I actually do feel bad for the guy because now if this guy <laughs> is getting banned at Starbucks, he's still a creep, though. But uh, that the guy is getting banned at Starbucks because he asked a chick out and she was not cool with that. Yeah. So now this... the guy's going to if he sees some chick at Penn Station and she's not digging him, he can't have a fucking steak sandwich for the rest of his life. Yeah, so you're basically afraid to ask women out or to say, hey, would you want to go out with me? You're, you're afraid to do it now because if you do it, you'll be banned from places, you'll be chastised, you'll be shamed, um, all these things. It doesn't matter his age. Sure, I mean, I don't know how she's legal, so I mean, okay. You know, I mean, do we start making, are there going to be laws soon where guys that are more than 10 years can't, you know, I, that's what it'll lead to. That's what, this, that's what starts. That's where it starts. The, I think this- Fucking horse shit. Unless there's more to the story where this guy was coming in and creeping, because that I have heard of. I get that. If you're a girl and you work someplace, and you get the guy that comes in every day who's like, come on, Samantha, you know, I want to, let's just see some ass, you know, and then, like, eventually, like, you know, let's she see calls some the, ass. <laughs> you know, eventually they call the cops, you know, that's different. Come on, Samantha, let's see some ass. <laughs> Uh, From Jack, the table in the corner. you have to be smoother about it. You know what I mean? Like no one was as smooth about it as Jack Nicholson was in uh, As Good as It Gets. He was great. He didn't even he pretended yeah. he hated the girl. <laughs> you know, he was he got he was sitting under there funneling on the table. And Nothing he, is as slick as Jack Nicholson when he tells those Jews to get off that table. <laughs> <laughs> I hope your appetite's as big as your nose is. <laughs> <laughs> He is like Archie Bunker, like personified in that show. That's such a good movie. All right, guys, check us out in the next video. This is Damage Report, Cronin and Bailey. Here's some more videos. If you didn't click, uh, binge watch us. we got more news and all these other videos. Check them out right now. And don't forget to subscribe for these crazy weekly videos and playlists that we will be uploading. Enjoy. We'll see you next time. Bye. Kunta Quinte.